Santa Rosa de Lima on fire with your love, so that secluded from the world, in the austerity of a life of penance, Santa Rosa might give herself to you alone. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession, we may tread the path of life on earth. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of Ruth. Once in the time of the judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem of Judah departed with his wife and two sons to reside on the plateau of Moab. Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons, who married Moabite women, one named Orpha and the other Ruth. When they had lived there about ten years, both Malon and Kilion died also, and the woman was left with neither her two sons nor her husband. She then made ready to go back from the plateau of Moab, because word reached her there that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Orpha kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. Naomi said, See now, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her God. Go back after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Do not ask me to abandon or forsake you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Thus it was that Naomi returned with the Moabite daughter-in-law, Ruth, who accompanied her back from the plateau of Moab. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is the Lord, his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. The Pray. Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord Pray. loves the, ju the just. The Lord protects the strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. Alleluia, alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God. Guide me in your truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested Jesus by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kapistahan po ngayon ni Santa Rosa de Lima. Isa siya sa 
mga popular na mga santa dito sa ating bayan. At marami pong mga nagdidibosyon kay Santa Rosa de Lima. Ano po ang ating masasabi sa kanyang magandang buhay? Bata pa lang, si Santa Rosa ay nagtataglay na siya ng pag-ibig sa Diyos. Kaya nasa pag-iisip niya at nasa puso niya ang gumawa ng mabuti. Ganun naman po talaga. Kapag ang isang tao ay nagmamahal sa Diyos, ang isip at puso ay nakatutok sa paggawa ng kabutihan. Si Santa Rosa po ay lumaking napakagandang babae. Ang kagandahan niya ay hindi pangkaraniwan. Pwede nating sabihin ang kanyang kagandahan ay pang beauty patient. Maganda talaga siya. At napakarami niyang mga manliligaw. Daming lumigaw. Mga mararangal na tao, maharlikang tao. At dahil nga sa ang kanyang puso ay sa Diyos, pagmamahal sa Diyos at pagmamahal sa kapwa, gumagawa siya ng paraan para hindi siya mapansin ng mga kalalakihan. Kung ano-ano ang nilalagay niya sa kanyang mukha, para lang maiba at hindi siya pansinin ng mga kalalakihan. Subalit kahit anong gawin niya, kahit ano pa ang ilagay niya sa kanyang muka, mapapansin at mapapansin pa rin ang kagandahan sa kanya. Sapagkat ang kagandahan, ang kabutihan ng isang tao, ang kabanalan ng isang tao ay nakikita sa kanyang pagkatao. Isipin natin ha, sa paghahangad ni Santa Rosa na makatutok sa Diyos at sa paglilingkod sa Diyos, dala ng pagmamahal sa Diyos, ginagawa niya ang paraan para hindi mapansin ang mga kalalakihan. Ah, ngayon ay baligtad na. Dahil ngayon, para mapansin ang mga kalalakihan, ang mga babaeng naghahangad pang mag-asawa, lahat ng paraan ay gagawin at gagawin makatawag lamang ng pansin. Noong araw, ang mga kalalakihan ang talagang nagpapapansin sa mga kababaihan. Sila ang lumiligaw at gumagawa ng paraan para sila'y mapansin ng mga kababaihan. Pero ngayon ay baligtad na. Dahil sa kakulangan na ngayon ng mga kalalakihan, mas marami ngayon ang babae, ang mga kababaihan na ang gumagawa ng paraan para sila'y mapansin ng mga kalalakihan. Kita nyo na lang sa mga kasuotan ngayon. Ah, eh, pag hindi ka pa napansin ng mga lalaki, ewan ko na lang. Eh, talagang very revealing ang mga damit ng mga kababaihan ngayon para makapansin at makatawag ng pansin. Pero iba po si Santa Rosa, ibang klase siya. Ayaw na ayaw niyang siya'y mapapansin, ayaw na ayaw niyang siya'y maliligawan. Kung kaya naman nagtagumpay si Santa Rosa na ialay ang buhay sa Diyos, sa kanyang pag-ibig sa Panginoon, ang inisip niya'y makatulong sa mga matatanda na walang tahanan, sa mga may sakit at nangangailangan ng kalinga, doon niya itinoon at itinutok ang kanyang sarili at ang kanyang buhay. At ito ay kanyang ginawa at nagawa sapagkat ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ang nananaig sa kanyang pagkatao at sa kanyang puso. Ito po ang magandang aral sa atin ng buhay ni Santa Rosa de Lima. Dahil sa laki ng kanyang pag-ibig sa Diyos, ang kanyang iniisip at ang gustong gawin ay para sa kabutihan, sa kapakanan ng nakararami, Lalo't higit ang mga matatandang walang tahanan, ang mga may sakit, 
at may mabigat na karamdaman. Kaya ngayon, ang tawag natin sa kanya ay Santa Rosa de Lima. Minamahal na mga kapatid, ang paksa ng ating Panginoon sa banal na Ebanghelyo ay pagmamahal. Paulit-ulit nating napapakinggan ang paksang ito. Sa loob ng isang taon ay maraming beses nating mapapakinggan ang dakilang aral ng ating mahal na Panginoon, ang pagmamahal sa Diyos at pagmamahal sa kapwa. Nagpahayag ang ating mahal na Panginoon at kanyang sinabi na ang pagmamahal ay nasusukat sa dalawang bagay, pagmamahal sa Diyos at pagmamahal sa kapwa. Magkasamang uunawain at hindi po maaaring paghiwalayin ang pagmamahal sa Diyos at ang pagmamahal sa kapwa. Sa katunayan, mapatutunayan mo lang ang katotohanan ng iyong pagmamahal sa Diyos sa pamagitan ng pagmamahal mo sa iyong kapwa. Ano po ang naisabihin sa atin, mga minamahal, ng banal na ibanghelyo sa ating lahat? Paano natin malalaman na ang pagmamahal sa ating puso ay tunay at wagas? Madaling sabihin, I love you, I care for you, I miss you. Nako, yan ang lagi na lang nating naririnig at sinasabi. Lalo na sa Facebook, sa Twitter at kung saan man, I miss you. Wow! Yung mga nagsasabi sa inyo ng miss you, at wala namang ginagawang paraan para maipahayag ang pagkamiss sa inyo. Nako, nagdadrama lang yan. Pag sinabi sa inyo ng isang taong, I love you and I miss you, mararamdaman mo yan. Pagkat talagang ipadadama sa iyo ang pagmamahal. Kaya paano natin malalaman kung ang pagmamahal ay tunay at wagas na sinasabi ng ating mahal na Panginoon? Ang pag-ibig ay kailangang maging wagas. Hindi natin kailangan ang pagmamahal na 50%. Ang gusto natin ay pagmamahal na buo at ganap. Wagas, walang labis, walang kulang. Iyon ang ibinigay sa atin ng ating mahal na Panginoon. Pangalawa, ang pagmamahal sa puso ay tunay kung kaya mong kalimutan ang iyong sarili para sa kapakanan ng iba. Halimbawa, <coughs> May mga bagay na sa atin, nabili natin, mamahalin talaga. Mataas ang value at ito'y pinakakaingatan natin at pinakatago-tago at hanggat maaari nakatuon ang ating mata at siguro duhing hindi mawawala. Alahas man, pera o anuman. Ito bang bagay nito ay kaya mong ibigay sa iyong minamahal? Kaya mo bang kalimutan ang sarili mong kapakanan at ibigay mo ang bagay na ito sa iyong minamahal, asawa mo man, kapatid, anak, o kaibigan, o kamag-anak? Kaya mo bang ibigay? Kapag hindi mo kayang ibigay ang isang bagay na mahalaga sa iyo, pag hindi mo kayang ibigay sa mahal mo na, wow, hindi tunay at wagas ang pagmamahal mo. Dahil kung talagang mahal mo ang isang tao, wala kang ipagkakait kahit ano. Kaya mong ibigay anuman parang pagmamahal ng isang ina sa kanyang anak. Buhay man ay ibibigay dahil sa pagmamahal. Ito po ay isang batayan. Kaya ba natin kalimutan ang ating sarili upang tayo makatulong sa iba at makapagpasaya at makapagpaganda ng buhay ng iba? Makatulong! Hindi sapat na wala tayong kasalanang ginagawa, wala pong kahulugan yon. Wala nga tayong ginagawang masama, wala naman tayong ginagawang mabuti, wala namang pagkakaiba po yon. Hindi tayo makakarating sa langit na wala naman akong kasalanang ginawa, kaya pasok ako sa langit. Wow! Sino may sabi? Pasok lang tayo sa langit pag wala tayong ginagawa at gumagawa ka ng mabuti para sa iba. Pagkat iyon ang batayan ng pagmamahal mo sa Diyos, ang iniisip mo ay ang kapakanan ng iyong kapwa. Ikatlong, para malaman natin kung ang pag-ibig natin ay wagas, tunay, genuine, 
ikaw ba ay kaya mong magpatawad, lumimot at magbigay ng pagkakataon kanino mang nagkasala sa iyo? Kung ngayon, mga minamahal sa buhay natin ngayon, meron pa tayong mga taong hindi na patatawad at hindi natin nalilimutan ang kasalanan kanilang ginawa at hindi natin bibigyan ng kahit isang pagkakataon kaduda-duda, mga minamahal, kung tunay at wagas ang ating pagmamahal. Mga minamahal, isa lang may pagmamalaki natin sa buhay natin ngayon habang tayo pinauutang ng mahal na Panginoong Diyos ng buhay na tayo ay nagmamahal ng wagas at tunay. Pagharap natin sa Diyos, ito lamang ang ating may pagmamalaki na noong tayo ay nabubuhay, natuto tayong magmahal ng tunay at wagas. Hilingin po natin sa kamahal-mahalang puso ng ating mahal na Panginoon na tayo matutong magmahal tulad ng pagmamahal ni Jesus sa ating lahat. Amen. Let our prayer show that we love the Lord our God with all our being. Let our prayer show that we love our neighbors as we respect and reverence ourselves. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, through its leaders, may bring the faithful to a deeper knowledge and love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That obedience to God's law may guide those who govern us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our homes may be place, places of God's presence, where everyone is taught to care and respect one another as a child of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may bring to His eternal kingdom our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God and Father, You reveal Your will to us through Your commandments. As we bring our prayers before You, give us the grace to live out these commandments. We ask this through the most sacred heart of Jesus, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of His Holy, Holy Church. As we observe the, the memorial of Santa Rosa de Lima, praying, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, praying to be given the strength so that we may offer ourselves to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord our God, almighty and eternal. In the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful, 
with strength ever new and offer us your signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. The great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do. And so with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. This is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and the clergy. Remember, Lord, our brothers and sisters, as well as our loved ones who have gone ahead of us and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us and bless us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, Saint Paul, all the Apostles, Santa Rosa de Lima, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now pray to the Father in the words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and glory are of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Let
Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, the, of world. the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus Christ, our Lord. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Let us pray. Having received this great sacrament, we humbly pray, O Lord, that through the intercession and prayer of Santa Rosa de Lima, we may merit to be partakers at your eternal banquet. We ask this through the most sacred heart of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty and merciful God bless and protect you at all times, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Let us keep the great love of the Lord in our hearts. Thanks be to God. Master, Jesus Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. 
Jesus Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus, life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus, life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Prayer to the Sacred Heart Jesus, Divine Master, I bless and thank your most sweet heart for the great gift of the Church. She is the Mother who instructs us in the truth, guides us on the way to heaven, and communicates supernatural life to us. She continues her own saving mission here on earth as your mystical body. She is the Ark of Salvation. She is infallible, indefectible, Catholic. Grant me the grace to love her as you loved and sanctified her in your blood. May the world know her. May all sheep enter your fold. May everyone humbly cooperate in your kingdom. Sweetheart of my Jesus, make me love you more and more. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.